We're going to make a T-chart to go with our piles. We're going to see if we can notice any patterns. And over here, I'm going to write pile. Raise your hand if you remember what that stands for. The number. Number. So which pile number we're talking about. Okay. I'm going to label my other column number of tiles. So for pile number one, way back on pile number one, raise your hand. How many tiles were in pile number one? How many? Six. Okay. Pile number two, raise your hand. How many tiles in pile number two? Ten. Okay. Pile number three. Fourteen. Okay, I'm going to stop for a moment. Raise your hand if you can tell me, how'd you figure out how many tiles for pile number three? I didn't know for the second one, so I went to six to ten, so I knew it was kind of by fours, so I just went six, ten, fourteen. Mm, all right. I knew that four plus four is eight, and four more, that's twelve. That's two, that's 14. Okay. Pile number five. Can you figure this out using some multiplication? I multiply five times four mm -hmm. equals 20 plus the top two equals 22. Hmm. Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense to you. I'm going to write down what Avanit said. She said for pile number five, you said five times four times four. Okay. Plus two. Equals 22. Okay. And I'm just going to ask you, why 5 times 4, Ebony? Because there are 4 uh, tiles in each row. 4 tiles in each row, so I, that makes sense for why times 4. Why 5 times 4? Because there are 5 rows. Ah, so 5 rows of 4, would that be a way to say it? Plus those 2 on top? All right, so we're pretty convinced. I'm pretty convinced. 20, 22. Does that fit with the adding 4? pattern? Yes. And I'm going to skip to the next number that we talked about, which was 10. Think quietly in your head, how many tiles do we have for pile number 10? Raise your hand when you remember. Talk to your partner about pile number 10. 10 times 4 is 40. 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 Yeah, that's right. This is 4 times 2. It's 40. Plus 2. 42. That's your answer. You're pretty convinced, huh, Tyler? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Raise your hand if you'd like to share how you would figure out for pile 10. How many tiles in pile 10? In pile 10, I think it's 42. If you do multiplication, 10 times 4 is 40. Then plus 2 is 42. Okay. There are 4 tiles in each row, and there are 10 rows going down. So I think 4 times 10 equals 40, plus 2 equals 42. What Navi just described, whose method does that sound like up here? To Am me, I? it seems like Jordan and Johnny because they all have times on them, but they have at plus at. I think it sounds like Anthony and Dale's because Navi said it has 4 rows with four tiles in each row. That makes sense to me too. Okay. Lauren, remember how you were saying that you added four and then you added four? Mm -hmm. Does that sound, give me a thumbs up if that sounds kind of like Jordan and Johnny's way. So I'm pretty convinced now that for pile number 10, one, two, three, whisper, how many tiles? 42. 42. All right, now I'm going to give you a white piece of paper. All right. So I'm going to pass this out and I'm going to tell you which number I'd like you to figure out. Okay. So this is an assignment where you can talk to the people around you but I'd like everyone to do their own paper. For pile 100, lots of convincing arguments for there being 402 tiles. And in between here in my dots, I'm going to add pile 37. My goodness, 37. Once we extended the pattern beyond friendly numbers, we hit the little disequilibrium because students were comfortable with 10. They were comfortable even with 100. But once we started talking about 37, there was a distinction between those who really were sort of grounded in, in what was happening and then those who started to think that maybe it would be completely different with a different number. Tell me why you decided to do 37 times 4. It was easier because you have 37 columns going down plus, plus the four rows going across. Okay. Plus two. Plus those two on top? Okay. So that's amazing is a way to check it because it makes sense. I'm going to have a stop in the middle right now, and you're going to take this paper home, and for homework, you're going to finish yes. figuring out how many tiles in pile 37.